Now for the next card that I have right here. Uh, the next card that I have here is a picture. Let's get and see what is this provided in this picture. Now remember this is still on the part three and as, uh, as I told us earlier in this part three we get to form questions. Now this one that I have here you can refer to the both of them as uh, cutlery. In English call it cutlery. Now in German is das Bechtek. That is das Bechtek. Remember Bechtek means cutlery. Cutlery is the fork and knife it is here. Or it could be specifically uh, use them individually. For example, we know knife. Knife in German is uh, das Messer. That is das Messer. And then fork. Now fork is D gabel so das messer and D gabel for fork all right or as i've said you can use them generally a cutlery that is das bechtek so i'm going to form a request or even a question using this photo right here i could simply say so i could request somebody bitte bring mir das neue messer bitte bring mir das neue messer which now means Please bring me the new knife. Okay. And then how could they respond? They could say, uh, okay. Okay. As simple as that, yeah? Or I could also go ahead and form uh, another request like this. So I could tell somebody, Bitte kaufen Sie die Gabel nicht. Bitte kaufen Sie die Gabel nicht. That is, please don't buy the fork. That I could say, I could say maybe, ich muss die Gabel kaufen. Ich muss die Gabel kaufen. I must buy the fork, right? Okay, let me finish with this last question. Someone could ask you, where is the uh, where is the cutlery? Wo ist das Besteck? Wo ist das Besteck? Where is the cutlery? And then I could say, oh je, ich habe keine Idee. Uh, I have no idea. As I'm always suggesting to you guys, keep your statements, keep your questions direct and uh, brief. Don't keep it too long. It gets to be too there. Just keep it short and precise to the point. All right. Now, of course, for those of you who wish to go ahead and enroll for classes, please feel free and reach us by the details provided at the end of the video. Well, then remember my motto. Keep practicing. Keep practicing. And I shall see you in the next one.